It's a nationwide problem. Police departments not having enough officers to patrol the streets. We've reported this issue to you before, but Lynchburg is losing more and more officers and the chief is looking to the city, city leaders specifically to help. 10 News reporter Magda Lelousat breaks down the serious need. Police officer Alex Lucy has been with the Lynchburg Police Department for nearly five years. He's one of the most seasoned officers on patrol. Since 2012, 206 officers have left the force for jobs with better benefits and pay, leaving the department understaffed. So there's more guys that are staying over or coming back and working on days off. Uh, to try to help the guys that are here, the units that are working. In the region, LPD has the lowest police to community ratio, falling in last place behind Danville, a city that experiences more crime, has fewer citizens, but enough officers. The demand for police services is continuing to grow. It's not going down, it's going up. Outgoing Police Chief Raul Diaz is pleading to city council members to take this matter seriously. And after a while, those people who have been here three or four years say, you know, why am I here when I can go somewhere else and work a lot less and get my time off. They're not able to uh, see how serious this is and if we not find the resources to uh, meet those needs, we are really failing. Right now, there are only 139 officers. Diaz says 80% of them have less than five years of experience. He recommends increased staffing, a take home car program, reinstating benefits for officers with 25 years of experience, paying $5,000 off student loans for officers who stay another five years. Uh, so when we're here at work, we're going to work extremely hard for our community and we're going to continue to do that, uh, even being short staffed or fully staffed. In Lynchburg, Magdala Lusant, 10 News, working for you.